Hi guys, today I'm sowing my Timothy grass seeds and I want to show you how a good planting method can help you get the most out of your crop. So I'm using Flam Pratense variety, which is a large leaf variety of Timothy grass, so it should provide a good balance of fresh greenery for my rabbits, Benji and Gaia. The best time to sow is from late February until the end of August, although you can sow your seeds at any time of the year. But do bear in mind that seeds sown when it's not the growing season will take longer to establish. I'm sowing mine now in mid-March, so I should get a really good summer flowering crop. A 50 gram packet will cover approximately one square foot, so it's the ideal portion for standard 30 centimetre planting pots or troughs such as these. As Timothy grass is sh very shallow rooted, you don't actually need deep buckets at all. So you could use any shallow container, such as cheap washing up bowls like this, or even repurpose your old vegetable trays like mushroom trays and so on, uh, when you've finished your veg. Of course, if you do use something that's as uh, lightweight as, as a mushroom dish, you'll need to weight it down on the inside first and probably put something around the outside of it. Maybe some rocks either side to stop it blowing away when it gets windy. Uh, especially if you grow your grass quite tall, it'll catch the wind easily, so obviously support your containers. And if you're wanting to use, make forage boxes for your bunnies or something, these underbed storage containers are really useful. So I've pre filled a trough here just to get started, but I've filled the base of the trough with some pebbles. And I've also pre-drilled some little holes either side, uh, about an inch from the base, so that uh, that will act as drainage uh, and will stop the soil from becoming waterlogged. Although I use organic compost for my vegetables, for my Timothy grass I'm using organic topsoil, as the grass doesn't require the finer texture of compost. So I'm just pre-wetting the soil just slightly like this. Before I start with the seeds, so that there's a base layer of water that will be underneath the seeds when they start, uh, when they go onto the soil. Making sure that there's no seeds at the top of the packet. As you can see, the seeds are very tiny. You want to sprinkle just gently. And as evenly as possible. Fairly dense coverage. That was the first third of the packet. Go with the second third. I'm trying to ensure there's a fairly even coverage across. And by doing it in three stages like this, I'm able to tell, oh, maybe four stages, I'm able to tell where there's blank patches. You're totally aiming for approximately 50% coverage, and I can already see that this is really quite dense so my 50 grams I've still got some left in the packet probably about 10 or 15 grams so maybe I should do a mushroom tray for that last 10 grams 10 15 grams so now you want to cover the seeds with a very thin layer about an, half an inch thick of soil so Here's the topsoil I've got out. I'm crumbling through it to make sure it's fairly, there's no big lumps to go on. And I shall sprinkle this over the top in the same way as I sprinkled the seeds, really, to try and get an even distribution. It's another use for the mushroom trays, you see. Everything can be repurposed.
Okay, I think I've probably got about half an inch there now. Certainly, I can't see any seeds. Maybe a couple along the edge there. Just patting it very gently so that the top layer doesn't blow away. Finally, gently moisten the soil just a little bit, but not so much that it pools because what you could end up with doing is making the seeds mobile and then you'll end up with patchy growth. You're probably wondering what my little cardboard tube here is for. Well, it's primarily so that I can keep watering it while I'm waiting for the seeds to germinate. I haven't filled the reservoir yet and this is just you know repurpose reuse this is just a, a used toilet roll holder um, but it gives me the ability to see into the trough to know when the reservoir is full and that I've always got water in there. It is very important to keep your seeds moist the whole time. I'm going to cover my trough with wire mesh because we've got some very clever and determined little squirrels that live here that love fresh soil and they plant their monkey nuts in it. So at least this will prevent them from getting in, hopefully. I'll put a rock or two on top of that once I've got it into location. Place your seeds in a location which receives some sun, but it doesn't have to be full sun as it grows perfectly well in shade as well. Germination should take about 7 to 14 days when you start to see sh little shoots coming up. You must always keep the soil damp and never allow it to dry out at all. A sympathy grass is very shallow rooted. The roots won't be able to penetrate lower levels of soil. This is why I've created the reservoir at the base so the water is always present and it will be directed up to the roots by capillary action in the soil. Lynn's checking out my work. Place your seeds in a location which receives some sun, but it doesn't have to be full sun all day, as it grows perfectly well in partial shade as well. So I'll come back to this in a week to ten days and see how it's doing and update you with the progress of my seeds. Thank you for watching.